Seven minutes left. TSB is the drive during conflict, the self-sureness of the dog, and the ability to take stress. There's German words, but I can't pronounce them, so you have to take my word for it. <laughs> in a rule book, though. Uh, controllability is especially evaluated with influence and a total rating. However, no written entry is made in the performance book. Now, that's taken also right out of our, our rule book. And uh, so, to be a... a Rated, you get pronounced a present or insufficient. So A is pronounced rating. Presence for Honden, uh, insufficient. Uh, Nick to Honden, that's usually what you don't want. Okay. So to be truly pronounced, you have to have a sense of physical strength. Does this dog show you the sense of physical strength? Obviously. How about psychological strength? I mean, the dog truly wants to dominate the conflict and all that stuff. Inner confidence and fearlessness, yeah, I got that, you know. Urge to dominate again, yes. Hardness, yeah. Is the dog self-confidence, intense, goal-orientated, secure gripping and holding, no negative reactions to stick hits, close and attentive, watching, holding in the guarding phases? Yeah, I think it meets all that criteria, don't you guys? Okay. So, and the reason I say that is because you try to paint a mental picture not, not even a metal picture, but you try to paint a picture for the people watching what the dog does. And, you know, for Schutz and one, you know, you want to make sure that people understand when they watch a nice dog do protection work, why it's a nice dog, not just because it goes out there and goes through the motions. So those are things that you, you don't necessarily 
go out there with the idea that you can train that. That's something inside. And if you have a nice uh, club and a nice handler, you know, a nice team, then you can work with that to make some really nice scores, okay? So now all that being said, the actual biggest point loss that I had uh, down for Lori today was the blind stuff. Because the dog should search two blinds without searching that blind. You don't get an extra point back. for that? There is no extra point for that. But the hold and bark, strong, convincing, like we talked about here, right? The prevention of escape, the dog was very uh, confident and goal oriented went right to the helper. There was no deviation of the grip and anything like that. The defense, the dog was in there and that's where the, uh, the helper attacks the dog. Again, it was very strong, very convincing. Um, the attack out of motion could have been a little bit fuller grip. And you'll notice when I'm out there, I, I get right next to the helper. Maybe not like, like here. <laughs> but, you know, I'm close enough to where I can see the grips. And I think uh, I owe it to the handler and, and the trial participants that I'm out there to watch that because maybe while her dog's grip could have been a little bit fuller, maybe the next guy's grip is fuller, and if I don't catch that, then that's not really fair. So, all that stuff being said, uh, she got a 97 in the track and an 87 in obedience. And for me, the dog is uh, pronounced and 97, so.